will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified, as were the following. Board of Selectmen, Police Department, Building Department, Health Department, Engineering Division, Town Clerk, Fire Department, Conservation Commission, Assessor's Office, CPDC, and members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, Linfield, North Reading, Stoneham, Woburn, and Wilmington. Testimony given before this board is taken under oath. So if you think you may want to speak tonight, please stand and raise your right hand. So you can take the oath. Yep. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Responses, I do. Okay. If you would like to present your sure. case. Uh, uh, the first thing I would point out is that it is an error in our uh -oh. description. <laughs> um, the plot plan was updated after I had written this. So the where I say 4.12 feet and 14.12 okay. feet. It's off by a fraction of an inch. I, I saw there were two plot plans. Uh, yes, there. And, and the plot and plan, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So the plot plan that's dated uh, July 30th, I believe. Yes. It's the more recent one. And Correct. That's, that's the current plot plan. That's Correct. We should Correct. Okay. And, and, but the numbers where, where I talk about the side setback um, on in the reasoning yes. was based on an older one. It was so based on the older one. Two or three. Okay. Of of well, if, if, you, if you would like to go through and then uh, when you come to those figures, sure. if you'd like to correct them, that's fine. Okay. We'll follow along with you. Um, essentially, we're here because we're adding a second floor and a porch onto a one-story addition. That this will turn the house into a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath instead of a three-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath. Um, we're doing this because we have two children now. And the third bedroom, which is very small, it's about 10 by 10, was an office. Now it's my son's bedroom. He's two. He, he can't be in there forever. And the dining room table can't be our office anymore because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> so we're adding a master bedroom with a bathroom. And in front is a porch. The porch allows the master bedroom to be actually about two feet wider than the existing first floor. It's going two feet out over onto the porch. Mm -hmm. um, the side setback, as you can see from the plot plan, is 14.35 on the front corner, 14.55 in the back corner. So it's over 14 feet, but less than 15 feet. Uh, the, you can tell by the difference that the house is a little askew. So as a, as a technical matter, when we put the porch on, we will be 14.35 feet is the front corner of the porch, potential porch. Mm -hmm. the, the, the bold line behind it is the existing front of the house, if you can see. All right. um, it, it has 4.10 in front of it. Right. That, I mean, as a technical matter, that corner of the existing house is more than 14.35 feet. From the property line, I don't. I, I I'm not good enough at math to tell you what that number is. Right. But it's it from the front corner of the new structure to the back corner of the structure is about two and two and a half inches. So it, it's I feel safe saying it's less than an inch of mm -hmm. new encroachment into the side yard. Um, so it, it, in our eyes, um, there will be no detriment let alone substantial detriment. There will be no detriment to the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, I, I think, and our neighbors have, have said this to us, they feel like their property values will increase if we do the work. Um, if you look at the plans, um, just visually what the house will look like after the work is done, it looks substantially better than it looks now. Um, and it's it, it, the property value of our home will go up, which will raise the property values. Um, we, we did submit a letter from our nearest abutters um, who live, it's the Sands, so this is the side of the house that does not okay. conform. They live right here. They've submitted a letter of their support uh, of us doing the work. Um, and um, so, so we're speaking, seeking really a special permit. Um, we asked for the alternate uh, of a variance if it was required. But, but really, I, I think uh, I'm not in your position, but as I read the bylaws, I think a special permit is appropriate, and that's our primary ask. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, but we wanted to cover our bases because not being able to do this work bluntly means yeah. we probably need to try to move because our house just isn't big enough. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's right. I mean, I'm happy to answer questions, but that's the, the sure. long short of it. Sure. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how the other board members feel. I, I think it's, it, it, and it's only because the house is skewed on the lot and the mathematics of it say that there is a new nonconformity. Yes. Though it's probably, it's hundreds of a foot is the new yes. nonconformity, 1435. Uh, we don't know what the, I, I take it, it's an extension of that existing one story, uh, is, that's, that's an addition if I won't buy it, it was in, yes. it's not a garage, it's a, it it's was actually an addition a, with a porch and you're just, you're actually a, on that same footprint but you're extending it to the front of the house. Yes, it, yeah. I, I am an attorney, I don't know if I need to ask. <laughs> This is as it exists. Right. We're putting a porch in front of it. Right. And a second floor on top of it. Yeah. So it, 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 we are, if but not for the for the house being askew, we would be maintaining the exactly. same the same line. But because side. it's askew yes. and you're extending it six feet because of that angle mathematics. You That's know, the only reason. Hundreds of a foot. Absolutely. Because the hole from the front corner to the back corner right. is only two inches. Yeah. Okay. I, that, that's what I, I thought, and I just wanted to yeah, clarify that. David, any questions on this? Uh, yeah, I, so I, I guess, well, more of a discussion before I ask mm -hmm. questions. Uh, are we, as a board, comfortable treating this as an application for a special permit, or are we more comfortable treating this as a variance case because if we're more comfortable treating it as a variance case I think we ought to ask the applicant to go through the four mm -hmm. statutory criteria versus the substantially more detrimental uh, analysis for a special permit I guess mm -hmm. I'd be interested to hear from the, from the board members before I ask questions yeah. okay well I, I think you I kind of stated what I thought when I reviewed my position on it. I think it's a, a variance only because it's that minuscule few hundredths of a foot that creates a new nonconformity. Okay. Yeah. John, do you have an opinion on that? <coughs> variance well, special permit. There's something missing here too. In the uh, if you look at uh, your certified plan, the rear of the house is 14.55 feet. From the Mm -hmm. The front porch, as it would be constructed, is 14.35. Correct. Right. Right. However, somewhere in the middle there is the existing house, and it's 14. Point, I'm going to guess if I just take a an average of the two, which it appears to be it's halfway point, it's about 14.45 feet. So the difference is even more minuscule than it was before because there was no. Uh, no intent or no assertion to find out what that front corner is as it exists right now. Uh, that's correct. Well, there, it was uh, not, I, there was not an intent. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I know that. But I'm saying that, you know, we're looking at it as 14.35 is two tenths of an inch. But I'm thinking that it's more like I'll tell you what I think John on that you're looking for a distance you have 24 feet well 23.63 feet mm -hmm. and you have a six foot front porch that they're adding to that six foot 24 feet it's about 25 percent so and this is exactly 0 0.2 feet difference between the back and the front so that porch would probably be about 14.30 one quarter of the point two point two feet difference. And the survey, yeah. Now I'm looking at this point right here. Right here. No, no, no. no. Oh, you're no, looking I'm right looking there. at this point because this is existing. Okay. I so it's probably it, it could be about half that. I think it is about half. Because about half. The, the front of the house yeah. is um, fourteen fourteen four five. It's about an inch, or an inch and a quarter. Yeah. Um, because there's multiple. 
the, the front of the house kind of goes in. So right. I think you're right. So that's yeah. the first thing I noticed. The second thing is that um, our old bylaws allow the building inspector to make that determination, but does not now. Um, Which determination? Whether or not it's a variance or a special permit? No. Well, in this case, whether it's, whether the extension would be under the variance code or under the, or can be considered under the, I, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. But I'm saying that if you go back to the ones prior to the acceptance of the new right. yeah. Zach Council acceptance by right. town meeting, right. um, because it's very clear now, and it's under 6731, that um, the non-conforming structure uh, cannot be increased without a variance. If its footprint uh, is expanded, or if its dimensional nonconformity is expanded, which this is, or its dimensional nonconformity, or if, if you extend or extend an existing dimensional nonconformity, before we were able to do that, or the building inspector was able to do that, we can't do that now. So now under the new regulations, we have to consider this a variance. I don't, I don't agree in this particular case that it is a variance uh, because of the, uh, the minuscule aspect of it and uh, trying to fit the criteria, all the criteria, the variance in, I'm not, I don't, I don't think we're going to have trouble with the last three. It's the first one that presents all, mm -hmm. all the issues. Well, well we, we can go through that if yep. we decide. And my personal feeling is because it it is is it, they're creating a new nonconformity even mm -hmm. though it's a minuscule amount by the law it's a variance then. that's right. that's the way I think right. side that that's how I've looked at it as well and I just yeah. want to make sure before we make them jump through the yeah you don't get into too many of these things where we're dealing in hundredths of a foot no yeah. no you know okay which is getting to be a little ridiculous in a sense mm -hmm. but it is different it is a greater incursion onto the side setback. So technically, I think it qualifies as a variance. Yeah. Well, then, if you look at it that way, the building inspector in his denial letter says that it needs both a needs variance both. and a special permit. Mm -hmm. Special permit for the extension right. and the variance for the extension beyond the existing nonconformity. So, so he needs, needs a variance from his needs, special permit. Needs both. From no, the relief grant. It needs a variance and a special permit, and a variance for that one well, one hundredth I'm, of a I'm, foot, and then the special permit. I'm, I'm reading his memo here now. This is, excuse me, and I'll read that into the to the minutes here. This is from Glenn. Okay. His memo today. The proposed addition, this is 19 Boyce Street, <coughs> case number 15-0, ZBA chairperson. The proposed addition does not comply with the required 15-foot setback. Therefore, it needs a variance. I do not have any other concerns with this proposal. Period. Okay. Yeah. So I, I read that as clear instructions that the building inspector feels that we're yeah. looking at a variance rather than a special permit. Okay. okay. Can I ask you a question about the bylaws? Sure. As I'm, as I'm reading, sure. I'm looking at 7.3.2. For alterations of a single or two-family dwelling not eligible for a building permit pursuant to section 7.3. The zoning board may grant a special permit to reconstruct, alter, uh, extend, alter, or structurally change a non-conforming building upon a finding that the reconstruction extension, alteration, or structural change shall not substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood than the existing non-conforming. Am I not understanding it? I mean, maybe I don't. I'm not understanding what a an extension is. So, if you jump ahead to section 7.4, yep. it gives you your, the explanation to that question. Okay. Yeah. Because you're creating a the new, new non-conformity, okay. it, it pulls in the, the variance requirement. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Eric, I, I mean, would you like to comment? I think that technically, yeah, you need a variance. And I also wonder if you were to maybe just move the porch over a foot, if you could just go by the special <laughs> permit. Well, and, and, and what that would require us to do is incur further architectural fees and change the entire because the master bedroom is out over the porch. Mm -hmm. Everything about the design on that side has to change. 
I agree. You would lose. You would definitely have to you know, push it well, and, 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 You know, we've already paid our architect ten thousand dollars. I don't want to pay another twenty five hundred over, no. over uh, yeah. an inch. And I know that the building inspector commented one one hundredth of an inch. <laughs> I, I know, right? Um, the building inspector had commented about um, sheet A two dot one. I think I had, if I'm remembering it correctly. He thought it didn't match the certified plot plan. I don't know if that was the one from uh, the 24th. It, it was. Okay. I, think I just want to clarify and that for the record. And, and, yeah. and what yeah. happened is the prior plot plan, you know, this better than they, something was in feet and something was in inches, and they had to yeah. change. Okay. okay. Just want to clarify. Yes. Yeah, so no, that has been okay. that has been. Changed. Okay. Uh, I think I think we're all in agreement on the board here that. Uh, you would require a variance on this particular uh, uh, project as opposed to a special permit because of the minuscule addition to a uh, new nonconformity. So, it, it, and, and you did, I know, when you submitted your application, go through the four criteria for a variance. So, if you'd like to go through those and uh, sure. we can discuss those. Uh, question one. Circumstances relating to the soil condition, shape, or topography, which especially affect the land. Um, the only, I mean, shape, I suppose the shape of the structure is what is contributing to it. I don't know how to interpret this for this situation. Yeah. But the, sh the shape or topography, which especially affect the land and structures, um, the, the, the shape of the current structure is that it's not a, it's not a rectangle. It's a, it's, it's a, Right, Whatever it's, you it's would not all that shape. <laughs> right, so. um, and and that I mean that is what the circumstance is. I mean that's that's why we're here. Right. Um, I don't I don't have a better answer <laughs> for that. Than number one. Um, yeah, but, uh, I, I don't know that a better answer exists in this in this situation. Um, number two, the literal enforcement of the provisions of the zoning ordinance um, would involve substantial hardship, financial or otherwise. Um, I started to go through that. I, if we can't do this work, we either need to redesign it, which will incur costs and affect, frankly, I think it would det be detrimental to the neighborhood because the house is not going to look as good as it will look now, and, and um, it might look a little bit strange. Um, and it, 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 it would, to not be able to do this work the, in substantially the way it was planned will require us and our daughter just started school, which means we have to move in the same district, which means the way that the market looks today, we're going to be expending far more money than, than we would be able to do the industry. Um, desirable relief granted without substantial detriment to the public good, I would say there is no detriment to the public good. Um, the, the immediate the better is in support of it. Um, you know, if, if some sort of a continuance is necessary, we can card in everybody from our street to, to <laughs> say that they're in favor of it. Um, and how the desirable relief may be granted without nullifying or substantially derogating from the intent or purpose of the zoning ordinance. Uh, I would hazard a guess that the intent and purpose of the zoning ordinance is not to prevent us from building an addition that goes one one hundredth of an inch closer to our neighbor. That, I don't mean to be flipped, but that's Okay, yep. yep. Uh, let's go on through those. Uh, David, any questions in regards to the criteria there for variance? Uh. So, for the first standard related to the, the criteria for, for variance, your unique circumstances, if you will, and I'm paraphrasing mm -hmm. the language, are that the house sits askew on the lot. Correct. That basically it was built. E either the whole house or that addition when it was added on. But, but that the side of the relevant side of the house mm -hmm. is not true to the side of the, of the boundary. And right. so, and, and I guess so I understand sort of what led up to this. You didn't figure that out until you hired an architect to do not even uh, an architect until we did the plot plan. Right, and, the plot right plan. until you did this Mer the Merrimack Engineering Survey, discovered that you didn't, you had no idea. Not a clue. 
and when you look at the house, you can't tell. Well, yeah, I mean, if your eye is good enough to detect, you know, hundreds of inches, then you're a better man than I am. Now, now, Here's my glasses. Right. Now, I don't know if, I, my understanding is that the addition was built in the 60s. I don't know if there was a reason in the soil conditions that they put the corner here instead of there. I don't yeah. There might have been. I don't know the answer to that. Um, there may be a giant boulder sitting next to the corner of our house that we'll discover during construction. And that was the reason why they, they built it the way they did. I, I, I don't know the answer. That's yep. all I have for now. No, I, I, I think, you know, you just noted that the existing structure that's on the lot is certainly an argument that it, uh, you know, the house was not built perpendicular or parallel to the lot lines uh, that are there. And uh, it's certainly a rectangular lot that's, that's a perfect rectangular, it looks like, with all 90 degree angles in there, 76 foot back, 76 foot frontage, 100 foot, 100 foot deep yes. on both sides. So it's a, it's a perfect rectangle. It's just that the house was, when they could, and it happens, yeah. Yeah. It, it just well, slightly, it as, slightly askew. Yeah. It's just not parallel and perpendicular. And, and, and it does go yeah. back, now that I look at the other side of the house, that's askew as well. So the original it is. home built in the yeah. 50s was built askew. Yeah. So. Okay. David, you That's all I have for yeah, now. Okay. Thank John, you. do you have any questions? Or no. Comments? Um, the uh, you both picked out what I had picked out hmm. that the uh, back in the 50s when it was built uh, was built askew in the first place and perhaps somebody um, blinked uh, when they should not have been blinking and when they set up the sight lines in the corners of the house and they built the actual house itself it was off just a, just a hair and then when you went and built the addition, or you, probably you didn't build the addition, didn't. but when the addition was built, it was built again with better instrumentation, and that exactly. was just added on to yeah. the, the result. So uh, if, if anything, the, as I said before, the last three, um, I can understand very easily the first one. Um, it has to be the structure that is the problem, uh, more so than the topography of the Property, yeah, but I don't think it's the topography. No. Unique for some Yep. And because we're talking, but I, I think you hit on, on on a good point, John, uh, in regards to the surveying. Obviously, since the 50s, we have gotten a lot, lot more accurate in surveys using being able to use electronics, etc. Yes. Now. You're using the laser. Yes, the equipment, laser. and that yeah. that puts us right on the mark when yeah. we didn't have that before. Right. So that's. I, I don't have a, a problem with the, uh, the the justification criteria for the marriage. Okay. Sai? The only comment I would make is that the application does ask for a permit and a variance. And I only say that, be, and then I follow that up with saying that the uh, inspector, the building inspector, is only basically pushed it to this board because he thinks a variance is required. I conclude from that that he doesn't feel that we need to grant a I special permit, that he I can handle that, do that himself. I think maybe yeah. what he's done, is he had, might have reread this and said if we grant the variance, he's satisfied with the requirements mm, for the right. special permit being right. met, so right. don't go both ways. Yeah. I don't have any Well, I think perhaps his hand, maybe he reread the bylaw as well, instead of four. I, th I think many times he just likes to cover himself and uh, sure that's note is. that, uh, well, it could yeah, be a I special permit, depending how the board looks at it. It could be a special permit, it could be a variance. We'll put them both in, advertise them as both, and that way it's all covered under the in in the case hearing in the hearing yeah, yeah. and I don't have any problem with, the, no. with his explanation of compliance with the criteria Eric uh, any comments no issues no. Uh, as I said I, I went through it and thought that it would require a variance as opposed to a special <coughs> permit because of that and I, I've already noted that and I would agree that the the house the existing structure that's already on there creates a unique situation because of the way it was constructed. 
I also noted that the lot, it, it isn't an S20, and a lot of times we'll look at lots and, and the, the way that is sized, and it is one of the smaller lots in the, in the neighborhood, and in fact, amongst the abutters of the abutting lots, and what do you get, three abutters, mm -hmm. it is the smallest lot of the three abut of the, that cluster of lots uh, there. Uh, so I would say that you know the lot itself is is certainly undersized and unique in that aspect that it's a very small lot. And the house uh, itself looks very small <laughs> on the lot compared yes. to the rest of the neighborhood. The, right. At the yeah. end, when we finish the construction, we might have two thousand square feet. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I, I certainly don't think it'll be a uh, detriment to the neighborhood. The, the addition to it, and I would I would support a variance in this particular case myself. I think he's met the the criteria, the four criteria, with the the uniqueness of the house and the lot in the in the first one, and the other three criteria uh, I certainly don't have an issue with. Uh, we did have a. There's nobody here from the public, but I will read into the minutes we did have a letter I believe from your abutting neighbor you yes. said that's on the side of your house where the actual addition is going to go that's right. stuff. Uh, to the town of Reading Zoning Board of Appeals we own and reside at four at, excuse me 242 Summer Avenue the rear boundary of our property abuts the side boundary of the property at 19 Boy Street which is owned by Allison and Matthew Screw Scro. I'm sorry. That's okay. We are writing in support of the application filed with the board by the Scrows related to renovations they wish to perform to their house at or to their home at 19 Boy Street. We understand that the setback on the side of the Scrow house closest to our property currently does not conform to the 15 foot requirement in the town zoning bylaws and that the proposed renovations will also not conform to the setback requirement on that side. We do not believe that any of the proposed renovation work would have any detrimental effect on the neighborhood. As the closest abutted to the area of the proposed renovation, we have no objection to the renovations and believe that the board should grant the Scrows whatever relief is required to perform the proposed renovations. And it's signed by Suzanne Stanton and Chris Stanton, the property owners. There. So that is the only comments that we had. Uh, from the butters. Uh, if we're through discussing, I have a procedural question. Okay. Do we need to vote on the application for a special permit? No, I, I don't think so. Okay. It's the variance is the is the more restrictive of the two. Okay. Yeah. All right. I just want to make sure that we'd have we leave a clear record right. so that all the petitioners' claims are addressed. We well, could ask the petitioner if he would like to withdraw his his request because it's it's his well, request in here. It's not well, the town's request. I guess it in my mind it comes down to whether or not the board grants the variance as to whether or not we're then required. To vote <laughs> well, you exactly. take, right. take one I think thing if I was there, I'd yes. say let's see if we pass the variance for us before I withdraw. <laughs> yeah, right. But. And then Absolutely. I don't think it's if we necessary grant the itself, variance, we ask the petitioner to withdraw <laughs> the request for a special permit. You can. Uh, I, I, I personally don't think it's necessary. Uh, but, right. uh, well, I defer to the I, chair. Yeah. I'm just. I'm. I'm just. I don't think asking. we've done it in the past. And as John says, it's the more restrictive is the variance. Okay. Uh, it certainly has more criteria to meet than the special permit. Uh, it is a procedural thing. It is yeah. a procedural <coughs> and thing. he has applied for a permit. And we should dispose of it some way. Mm -hmm. I don't think. Especially if we're creating a variance. Huh? Especially when we're granting a variance based upon one one hundredth of an inch. <laughs> um, we might as well follow that's, that's fine aspects. then we, of we course can do it. We of can course. Do it. <laughs> it, it certainly doesn't take but one any thing more, at a time. really. One thing at a time. Yeah. Doesn't take any more. I don't have an issue with, with doing it All that right. way. Okay, I just want uh, to make sure we get it right. Yeah. I would, uh, if there's no <coughs> further comment, I would entertain a motion from somebody in regards to uh, this particular case. 
I'll take a shot at it. Okay. I would move to grant the petitioners Matthew and Allison's Grow a variance, and I'm assuming it's from section six three and seven four. Both? I, or just no, seven, I think four. it's seven I think just it's six, seven three. three. Hmm? So I think it's six, seven th three two. Well no, it would be seven six. seven four is the portion that says if you're creating a new non conformity right. you need, you need a variance. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. So we're actually from section four, seven point seven four. Okay, a variance from section seven point four of the zoning bylaws in order to construct a first floor addition and second floor addition to the front of the existing dwelling on a property located at 19 Boyce Street in Reading, in accordance with the plot plan dated July 30th, 2015 prepared by Merrimack Engineering Services and certified by Steven Stapinski. And the architectural drawings, it's, it's A1.1 through A5.1, all prepared and certified by O'Sullivan Architects dated April 7th, is what I figured from the drawing, 2015. And this, I guess that's it. Hmm? Uh, okay, usually on this, uh, Addition, I would say, Cy, we should put uh, some of our conditions on it, maybe. Oh, you mean like it's a per like yeah, conditions like that apply to a permit? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On his building permit, when he pulls his building permit, okay. he should get, right. uh, you know, the foundation permit. Should there be are inspected. some standard conditions that Absolutely. go with this, which yeah. I'm sure Glenn will tell you what they are. But it's a certified plot plan before you can start the foundation. Yeah. It's a construction plans final before yeah. you can start yeah. the building of it we'll and then and, uh, occupancy permit when you're all done yes. yeah. so those are standard yeah. things well, we'll include those in the issue the foundation permit then that is checked for offsets right and then then the building permit is issued once that's issued that's all checked through and then before you get an occupancy permit it all has to be approved by the and is a foundation building permit department. necessary for a porch the only foundation that's going to be it's going to be footers for the porch uh, I would suspect there'd be some type of footing used for it, and that's so considered a, a foundation. You can work that out. That would work, with the work it out with everything you need. To do. Yeah, yeah. Work it out with the uh, building department. Well, you do have a small portion that you're going to add on to mm -hmm. um, for your second, first, and second floor. You're right. You're right. So there will be some you're right. foundation. You're right. You're right. But the building inspector is going to take care of that. I, I expect to. Sai, did you also include six three? You ought to. I, I well, I had it in to start with, and then I, <laughs> you guys kind of talked me out of it. Well, no, I mean, it's, I, it, it, it does. It, it really is a variance six from the table. Sure. Six three is it's a variance from the table and seven that's four what I is wanted the to check. Yeah, that's the dimensional controls. I think so it we'll should say be six three and seven. I think yeah. it should be both. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And if it was just one, I'd say six three. But we can I, reference both. Because I would suggest that we do that both. we do both. Yeah. It's also that. contained in the application. Right. Motion, the uh, motion yeah. on the table is six three and seven four. Okay, that sounds good. With the conditions that we just discussed. Yes. Second. We have a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor of the motion? There you go. Five zero zero, and uh, you will get a variance. We'll write that up, and generally we do that within a two-week period. Submit it to the town clerk, and then that has to be filed with the uh, registry of deeds. So. Okay. And we need to, uh, not to prolong this, but do we need to do anything with the special permit? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. well, well, good point. I, I think some of the members of the board would feel comfortable. Now that you've got your variance, if you would like to uh, withdraw my request, request to withdraw without prejudice, <laughs> <laughs> your uh, request for a special permit. Yes. I'm so doing that. All right, uh, so you ought to make, a, make, a, I make a motion to approve the all those requests to uh, re We'll do that. I guess we'll, we'll do a vote. All those in favor yeah, of. Uh, I'll second. Well, wait, I'll, I'll second his motion to approve the withdrawal. Okay. All those in favor of the withdrawal? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Y
think you mentioned at the end, Bob, that there's mm -hmm. a 20 day waiting period for. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah after after it's oh. registered with the town clerk, there is an appeal period. Yes. Yeah. And then you need to go to the uh, registry of deeds and right. file it. And you know that also, being an attorney. I was I was familiar with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But just so that we don't forget anything. I, 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 I understand. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Copies for your file. Yeah. And, uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Construction. Thank you. Yes. Okay. As I say. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. That was the only item on the agenda tonight. We don't even have any minutes or anything. Uh, so I think we could. Uh, unless there's any uh, other business. Somebody would like to discuss or anything uh, relevant? I would accept a motion to adjourn the meeting. So made. So made. Do I have a second? Second. Second from Eric. All those in favor for adjournment? Five zero zero. Thank you.